If you're suffering with a bad back or a bad neck even, here's why you should adjust your thinking. With 6.1 million Australians suffering from musculoskeletal disorders, including debilitating back pain, a National Spinal Health Week campaign, which is in the third week of May this year, it's an initiative from the Australian Chiropractors Association, and it's dedicated to improving the spinal health of all Australians through increasing awareness of musculoskeletal disorders, including lower back pain, which currently costs Australia over 55 $5.1 billion annually. Four in every five Australians experience back pain at some point in their lives, usually as a result of musculoskeletal diseases or disorders, which account for the greatest proportion of persistent pain and conditions, and is the second largest contributor to disability worldwide. With lower back pain actually being the number one cause of disability globally in both men and women. As a member of the Chiropractors Association, we just see back pain usually result from a musculoskeletal disorder. It means something's not working properly in your spine and your over do it and you injure yourself. Usually the incident is a straw that breaks the camel's back. It's micro trauma after micro trauma and one specific event causes the problem to start. So when you actually have a problem that lasts for more than three months, it's known as chronic primary lower back pain. It's a non-specific lower back pain in this case, you know, and it's classified as non-sinister, non-pathological. So they say 90% of chronic lower back issues is caused by chronic primary lower back pain, which is nothing but a waste paper basket diagnosis. It's just classified in that. And they say it's non-sinister, but it stops you from walking the dog. It stops you from playing with the kids. It stops you from getting out there and playing sport. If you do, you need to take medicine, you know, just to get you through your day or to get you through your game. So those small psychological impacts have an overall impact on your mental health. And that's why lower back issues and back problems in any particular area are so important to get to the root cause of. So as a chiropractor, we look at how your spine moves. We check the spinal segmental motion. We see if it's impacting on your nervous system. Your body's ability to heal depends on how well your nervous system's functioning. In your spine, it's not moving properly. It leads to early wear and tear over time, and it can lead to osteoarthritis. You hear different types of arthritis. There are 100 different types. 95% of all arthritis is musculoskeletal degenerative osteoarthritis. So poor spinal function leads to early wear and tear or osteoarthritis, and it affects your ability to do stuff in your life. And for people who do experience chronic pain, their ability to participate in families, social and working activities are often limited and that leads to negative impacts on both physical and mental health with significant costs to families, communities and Australia's economy. So if you're suffering with a bad back, adjust your thinking. If you've been using medication or talking to your doctor about particular surgical procedures, that's fine but maybe try some other avenues. It's shown that conservative care can be very very effective in improving spinal health and mobility and can also improve your ability to do stuff in your life. So try chiropractic. I'm Dr. Mario from Vitality Semaphore and for over a quarter of a century, we've helped over 10,000 people improve their spinal health and vitality naturally through chiropractic care. You can contact us on 8242 1581 or click the link in our bio.